Welcome, UW Tacoma Master of Social Work Class of 2021. And congratulations on your graduation from the MSW program. Welcome also to the family, friends, and supporters watching along with your graduates. I'm Erin Casey, Professor of Social Work and MSW Program Chair, and I have the great privilege of emceeing this special event. I know that you'd hope to gather in person to celebrate and that a virtual graduation was not your top choice. I also know that you are an incredible group of social workers, scholars, activists, carers, agitators, and leaders whose talents this community desperately needs. Finishing an MSW is a remarkable feat in general. Many of our students in the past, like you, achieved that accomplishment while also working, caring for family, and managing life's usual ups and downs. You, in addition, have accomplished this feat while navigating a devastating global pandemic, five quarters of remote learning and often remote practicum, as well as renewed political upheavals and critical struggles for racial justice. Saying that you are resilient, I don't think begins to capture the full extent of the fortitude, commitment, intelligence, probably coffee, likely some tears, and dedication that this achievement required of you. So I really hope you take this moment and this day and what the heck, maybe even this whole month to honor your achievement to celebrate your successes, to thank your supporters, and to rest up a bit. The world needs this right here, this group of you, this talented group of social workers more than ever, and you deserve some recharging and restoration as you wade back into the work that needs to be done. So on behalf of the staff and faculty of the School of Social Work and Criminal Justice, welcome. I look forward to celebrating you over the next 30 or so minutes and to hearing about your accomplishments for years to come. Without further ado, I will pass the virtual microphone to Acting Dean, Dr. Marcy Lozari. Good evening. I echo Aaron's words, and I also offer congratulations to each and every one of you. We are humbled by your tenacity, your perseverance, and your courage which is evident as you have been completing your MSW degrees. I also want to acknowledge all those who supported you through the process, family members, friends, colleagues, professors, field instructors, neighbors, lots of folks. You are living through an unprecedented pandemic, as Erin noted, which required a shift to online learning, social distancing, social isolation, and ongoing stresses. And in spite of it all, you are graduating. You are amazing. Through all of this upheaval, many of you were working and or in practicum placements, providing much needed services to your clients. Many of you are essential workers. Social workers are needed more than ever to not only provide direct services, but to advocate for social justice, economic justice, racial and gender equality, environmental justice, and the list goes on. Thank you for all you do. We are so proud of you and wish you the very best in your personal and professional endeavors. Be well and take care. It is a blessing and honor to have been selected by the MSW graduating class of 2021 to deliver the faculty address on the occasion of your hooding ceremony. I'm so grateful to have had the privilege to teach you, but especially to have learned so much from you. As the MSW class of 2021, you know full well that in choosing the profession of social work, it comes with many benefits and challenges that others in our helping profession have faced in the past and continue to face today. But I am confident 
that the knowledge and skills you've learned these past years in the classroom and in your practicum agencies are all part of that bigger picture in helping you to make a significant difference for others and those who you will have the opportunity to interact with professionally and personally. Today in, and in this virtual hooding ceremony, the faculty and I congratulate you. In this symbolic educational rite of privilege, you are hooded as if being yoked with the rights and responsibilities to go forth and apply yourselves competently, humbly, and ethically as professional social workers. And as you begin your social work career, allow me to leave you with words of encouragement. Perhaps the image of a compass and its directions will help you to gain the bearings that you may need if and at times you feel lost, overwhelmed, or simply need to redirect yourselves along the way. First, look north to your God, your higher spiritual being, our ancestors in the profession on whose shoulders we stand on for the strength and courage to do what is right, just, and for the common good. And just as the sun rises each day over Mount Rainier, look to the east with eagerness for the dawning of a new day with exciting opportunities and challenges awaiting you as advocates and catalysts of change. For as the sun sets in the west, examine your day and in the words of Don Miguel Ruiz in his four agreements, ask yourselves whether one, you've tried your best, two, you've spoken impeccable words of support, three, you've not made any assumptions, and four, you've not taken things personally trusting that a new day will dawn with opportunities to try again if you've fallen short. And finally, look south, always mindful that the winds that filled your sails in this journey throughout your life and graduate education are but the breath of love and support that your family, your parents, spouses, children, grandchildren, friends and teachers have sacrificed for each of you to be where you are at in this moment. So in closing, we the faculty and staff along with your family and friends celebrate this major milestone in your life and are so proud of your accomplishments. We are grateful to you for your response to make a difference for yourself, our community, our state, our nation and the world as social workers. And one last reminder, as alumni, please don't forget the University of Washington at Tacoma and the School of Social Work and Criminal Justice. Be boundless in your pursuit of improving the quality of lives for others. And as the motto of this great University of Washington proclaims, Lux sit, let there be light. Be that light as professional social workers and for those who you will be privileged to work with and serve now and into the future. Thank you, God bless you, and all the best for a successful social work career. Hello everyone and congratulations. It's been a long ride, but we're finally here. I just want to take a moment to extend my deepest gratitude to the University of Washington Tacoma School of Social Work and their faculty and staff for your incredible support and dedication to your students. You have guided and invested in us over this last few years, and we are so grateful that you are a part of our journey. I would also like to take a moment to thank the CTOP program, where I learned the value of self-reflection and being okay with being uncomfortable. You all challenged us to be our best, and we appreciate you. I'm truly honored to be chosen as this year's student speaker and want to thank you all for nominating and entrusting me with this task. I have been racking my brain trying to come up with words to inspire you or 
how to keep you from daydreaming during this speech. I've Googled best speeches a hundred times and nothing felt right. So I decided the only thing to do is just really to let my heart guide me. Going through the MSW from under normal circumstances is a challenge at best. But we went through it while facing a global pandemic, racial injustices, political chaos, and division among the people in our country that some of us have never witnessed. We wept together. We were angry together. We processed with each other, and we stood up in solidarity with those impacted. The class of 2021 got real-world experience that we could have never imagined, yet we persevered. The experiences we dealt with created rich, honest, emotional, and vulnerable conversations that we will carry with us in our practices and in our lives. Going through this program online became another challenge that we faced, but like true social workers, we adapted, we advocated for ourselves, and we made it work. We learned the truth of self-care because without it, we would have been in big trouble. As a non-traditional student, which was really just a fancy way of telling you that I'm getting old. I wanted to give you words of wisdom, but truthfully, some of the best philosophies I live by in life and practice came from others. And here's my one piece of advice. Oh, what feels like a lifetime ago, I was taking a sociology course at my community college. My professor, who quickly became my mentor, talked about three types of people that we would be in real world. The first is we have the sowers. These people meticulously plant seeds in the ground. They will water, add some nutrients, and work hard to make sure that at some point those seeds become something fruitful. Next, we have our tenders. These people tend to the seedlings. They know what they need to thrive. They nurture the plants. They recognize how to repair when something goes wrong. They work through all the problems that may arise to create healthy, thriving plants. And lastly, we have the harvesters. These people get to harvest the fruits. They get to see the plant blossom and bloom into something that's beautiful. They are careful in their handling of the new crop, and they get to see the rewards of the sower and the tender. But make no mistake that harvesting is intensive. You see, as social workers, we are sowers, we are tenders, and we are harvesters. Some of our roles will encompass all three and will just be one. We must always keep in mind that we may just be in one in a person's life to only sow the seeds or to only tend to their needs or harvest at the end. We are not always meant to play all three roles. In fact, if we get into our heads that we are the knight in training armor and can be the only person to help, we will get ourselves into real trouble. I think as new social workers, we want to take it all on. We want to help in extending ourselves too much and not setting boundaries early on. We will not only do a disservice to ourselves, but the people that we serve. If we feel we need to continue helping out long after our role is complete, we can impede the growth of others. So be okay with just being a sower or a tender or a harvester and know that if you did your job right, then the next person can do theirs. What you did during your MSW run was extraordinary, and I just really want to tell you that I'm proud of all of you and your hard work. Remember to give yourself grace as you move forward. Take time for yourself, and most importantly, celebrate your achievements, because you deserve it. I will leave you with a quote from Dr. Maya Angelou. I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. So make people feel great. That's why we're doing this. Congratulations to all of you. Good luck and bendición. Good evening. Congratulations to all of the graduates here today. You have a lot to be proud of. Welcome, family and friends. ETAP is designed to help students interested in a career in public child welfare develop their skills and knowledge so they can be effective child welfare social workers. CTAP works intensely with our MSW students providing educational seminars and practice skill development. This year, we have 27 graduating CTAP students. 
our largest cohort ever. CTAP would like to take this time to acknowledge all of the 27 for their hard work and dedication to the field of public child welfare. Congrats, CTAP grads. Each year, CTAP gives out two awards, CTAP Student of the Year and CTAP Outstanding Student. The CTAP Student of the Year Award is given to a student for their outstanding scholarship, child welfare practice, and contribution to the field of social work. Nominations come from the Department of Children, Youth, and Families and the University of Washington Tacoma School Social Work Program faculty. We had several outstanding candidates. This year, we are pleased to announce that Gabby Vasquez is a recipient of the CTAP Student of the Year Award. The Outstanding Student Award is given to a student who has excelled in the areas of leadership, support, and commitment to public child welfare. This student demonstrated the knowledge and skills needed to effectively and appropriately implement best practice in public child welfare. Nominations for this award come from fellow CTAP students. This year, we are pleased to announce that Melina Forbes is the recipient of the Outstanding Student Award. Congrats, Gabby and Melina, and best wishes to all of the graduates. You did it. The Phi Alpha Honor Society is an honor society for social work students who have achieved academic excellence and who embody humanitarian goals and ideals. Our local Sci Pi chapter of Phi Alpha was formed in 2006. Each year, Phi Alpha students participate in numerous projects that help serve the UWT and greater South Puget Sound communities. As a faculty advisor for UW Tacoma's Phi Alpha chapter, I would like to recognize our 2021 MSW graduates. May you continue to embrace and uphold the Pledge of Service to Humanity. Congratulations on your graduation. And on behalf of the national and local Phi Alpha faculty and members, we wish you continued success. Dr. Marcy Lazari, Acting Dean and Professor Emerita. Her personal and professional interests are varied. However, she is a self-described feminist and aims to facilitate the empowerment of others and maintain congruency with social work values and ethics with her daily work. She is privileged to work and contribute to such a vibrant community of scholars and learners, a true visionary. She continuously looks for new and innovative ways to deliver curriculum, services, and leadership, even as priorities have shifted over the course of the years. Now in her 23rd and final year with the University of Washington Tacoma and her second or third return from retirement, we finally say farewell to Dr. Lazari. Thank you does not even begin to describe the gratitude that the School of Social Work and Criminal Justice has for her contributions. For those of you who may not know, Dr. Lazari joined the social work program as the founding director in 1998. Under her leadership, the MSW program grew threefold. A BASW program was added in 2002 and an advanced standing MSW option was added in 2007, leading to rapid and record growth in both faculty hiring and student enrollments. Dr. Lazari went on to continue teaching and provide the campus with a stellar decade of leadership experiences, including special appointments from the chancellor. She has been instrumental in nurturing and building lasting community partnerships and relationships that have supported SSWCJ over the years. We are so very grateful for her guidance and vision then and now. Speaking of faculty hiring, one such hiring decision that was made shortly after Dr. Lazari's arrival was a critical position in any social work program that is someone to coordinate the field experiences. Dr. Lazari hired Dr. Tom Deem, Director of Field Education and Teaching Professor. Dr. Deem joined UW Tacoma School of Social Work and Criminal Justice in December of 1998 to coordinate all field activities for the then social work program. Now, 1,578 alumni later and nearly 1,700 field placements organized, Dr. Deem has decided to retire. 
He's been an expert professor of social policy, macro community practice classes, as well as his truly great elective on sexual orientation and gender identity. He even taught research, the DSM class, and the advanced standing seminar class on several occasions over the years. His generosity for taking on the assessment portion for accreditation and taking the lead for the reaccreditation are simply unmatched. A student himself, Dr. Deem, finished his PhD while working and commuting to Portland State University, fully immersing himself in student life. He describes working with students in both the classroom and in their field experiences as reinforcing how important it is that the two settings be integrated as closely as possible. He goes on to say that field placements are the signature pedagogy of social work. It's where the theoretical meets the practical and where social workers are made. Both Drs. Lazari and Deem have shown countless hours of commitment to our programs and school the campus and the community in numerous ways by serving on committees, councils, commissions, work groups, task forces, boards, advisory groups, and teams. We are so grateful for everything both of you have done to further our School of Social Work and Criminal Justice, both in the professional social work education, but also in laying a framework and foundation for our school in so many different areas, such as shared governance and institutional building. Together, you have pioneered and forged a path of greatness for the School of Social Work and Criminal Justice, but in particular, social work education at the University of Washington, Tacoma. To today, we honor you and recognize your numerous achievements in higher education, and we will miss you, Dr. Lazari and Dr. Dean. So now we've made it to the live hooding portion of the evening and the time when we celebrate each of you individually. I'll first briefly introduce the meaning of the ceremony. Hooding ceremonies are reserved for graduates of masters and doctoral programs and are intended to honor individually each graduate's achievement. During the ceremony, graduates have a hood placed on their graduation gown as added adornment and to signify the wearer as a holder of an advanced degree. Fun fact, these hoods originated from a time when advanced degree holders spent a lot of time in cold, unheated libraries, and the hood was actually quite utilitarian. It kept folks warmer. But now, of course, the hood is a symbol, a symbol of both the knowledge and the responsibility represented by a master's degree. The colors of the hood are intentional, both the university conferring the degree and the profession being entered into are represented on the hood. I know folks may not have had the opportunity to rent regalia, and so like many things this year, our hooding will be virtual and remote. I'll share my own graduate hood with you. You can see that on mine, husky purple is represented, as is the specific color for social work, citron, a bright shade of yellow. Hoods therefore represent both where you've come from and the profession into which you are embarking. In your high school and undergraduate ceremonies, a part of the symbolism was to move the tassel on your cap from right to left. As a graduate student, however, your tassel stays put on the left. It symbolizes your existing accomplishment of holding an undergraduate degree. So the hooding is the focus of the ceremony and represents the solemn responsibility undertaken by members of our profession to constantly and reflexively move in the direction of justice to honor the dignity, worth, rights, and well-being of each human being, and to challenge the social and structural forces that perpetuate inequity. With that charge, I now virtually offer this hood to each of you. If you do happen to have regalia at home, now is the time to don it and show it off. The V-neck at the front goes over your head and around your neck with the bright colors trailing down your back. It's my great, great honor to present the UW Tacoma Master of Social Work class of 2021. Enormous congratulations to each of you.
Adelyn Orby Farragut. Alexandra Liskey. Alexis Jordan. Lisa Feliciano. Alaric AJ Seishianda. Araceli Tovar Carrillo. Augustine Canales. Avery Moses. Bailey Mead. Bertha Vasquez. Shea Charlie Hawk. Rin Sadat. Danielle Johnson. Deanne Bauer. Elizabeth Hamry. Elizabeth Steinke. Emily Charlotte Burns. Felix Fernandez Ortiz. Gail Warner. Fall. Haley Foster. Heather Swanson. Felina Foster. India Hussein. Jamie Carlstad. Jennifer Tennyson. Jeremy Muscus. Joanne Nguyen. Joshua Hardwick. Juan Castanon. Catherine Lockford. Katie Seibel. Kelly Shepherd. Kelsey Cummings.
Chloe Swartz. Krista Kohler. Crystal M. Haskins. Lauren Kula. Matthew Lang. Megan Gallegos. Megan Robbins. Melina Forbes. Michelle Brownlee Wood Ward. Mindy Roman. Gisti Abdi. Rachel Green. Rebecca Powers. Ryan Mann. Sabrina Velasco. Samantha Ellsworth. Shailene Warnock. Veronica Bravo. Congratulations. And that brings us to the conclusion of the 2021 Masters in Social Work Coding Ceremony. Thank you so much for joining us on this special day and for the 47th time, congratulations. I hope each of you does something that brings you joy today. I hope each of you takes a moment to thank all those who helped you get to this moment. And I hope each of you takes a moment to give yourself credit for the incredible amount of work and sacrifice it took you to get here. On behalf of all the staff and faculty at the UW-Tacoma School of Social Work and Criminal Justice, we send our very, very best wishes with you as you go forth. Congratulations.